and welcome back to channel. So today let's see how to create and manage stages in Odoo 14 project. So you can see this is our project module and you can see the created projects and the task from here. So you can create a new project by just clicking create button and then we can mention the project name. Then if you want to uh, track the time spent on projects and tasks, you can enable this option. Then if you want recurring tasks, you can also enable that option. And after that, you can create a project. So when you click create, you can see here page to add stages for add stages for your project. Suppose I'm adding new assigned then done so in this way you can add multiple columns for your project that is stages and if you want to add more stages that is if you want to uh, view some suggestions for your project you can just select click see examples the it shows some Kanban examples so you can see for software development Different stages are shown here and for digital marketing, then consulting, design. Uh, so, by clicking this uses for my Kanban, you can use these stages for your project. Okay, so you can see for this project, zero tasks are created. Now, it is possible to create a new task by just clicking clicking create button and here we can provide the task name and we can assign to a person and add or edit the task so you can just add and when you click add you can see that task is added to the new stage so this is the uh, start initial state stage and we have done a detailed video on creating and managing task in order 14 community so you can check that okay then it is also possible to quickly add a task to a particular stage. So here we have assign stage and when you click on quick add, you can add a task to this stage. So test two and we can click add. And you can see for the stage number of tasks is one. And if you want to move this task to this stage assign, you can just drag and move. So now the assign will change to two. So you can see the number of task under assigned stages two. Then for each stage there are markers for the status of task that you can personalize. So here when you click on this dot you can see option to mark it as ready or it is ready for next stage or blocked. So the dots correspond to customizable markers applied on task making it easier to know which tasks require attention so you can give them a signification you like. So you can mark it as ready for next stage. So when you do that, here we can see one ready. And it is also possible to add one to block state. So you can see what is block. And you can also mark it as in progress. So here we can see one in in progress state. Then uh, here we can find option for setting a stage. So when you click on that, you can fold a stage. So you can see the stage is fold, folded. And then we can delete a stage, archive all or unarchive all. Then here we can find an option to edit a stage. So when you click on that, you can change the name of a stage. Then we can set an email template. So using this template, we can send email. And then we can also see another option that is separate we can set a separate email template that can be used for sending email to customers uh, uh, for which allows customers to rate on task so here we can set rating request email template and it is also possible for automatic that is to give automatic Kanban status. So automatically, um, you can modify the Kanban state when the customer replies to feedback on the stage. So if it is a good feedback then the, from the customer, then the state will be updated to ready for new stage. 
and if it is a bad or medium then it will be uh, automatically state will be set as blocked which means a red color that we have seen before then it is also possible to set a particular stages folder in kanban uh, from here then uh, you can define here labels that will display on the state instead of default labels so from here we can change the label for these dots then you can add description that helps uh, workers to understand employees to understand the purpose of the stage and meaning okay so you can save this and again you can move drag a particular task to a next stage from here then uh, it can also we also have an option to rearrange stages that is when you click on a stage you can just drag to uh, previous drag as pre previous one so in this way we can rearrange columns that is stages for your project so that's how we create and manage stages in order 14 project